Philippine President Sara Duterte attends anti-administration rally. Confusing, says Solon. Ibinalita nga raw ni House Deputy Majority Leader Iloilo, 1st District Representative Janet Garin, ang malaking disconnect na ipinakita di umanuraw ni tuwing nakaraang linggo nang dumalo si Vice Presidente Sara Duterte sa Pro Apollo Kibuloy Prayer Rally sa Manila. At least, sinabi ni Garin na nakakalito ang partisipasyon ng PC Presidente sa rally dahil halatang may anti-administration flavor umanuraw ang event para sa patunay. Kailangan lang tignan ang mga placard na dala ng mga tumalo. Ang nasulat lang naman ay protect in day Sara. Ang naman daw kaya ang masama sa mga placard na yun? Ano ba rin kasi ang pinagkahandag gawa ng administration na to kay Inday? Lalo na sa galawan ng tambalisa na sobrang na kung alipustahin ang busy natin. Sabi pa nga sa mga balitang kumakalat ngayon sa mundo ng social media. House Deputy Majority Leader Iloilo 1st District Representative Janet Green has brought up the big disconnect that was on display earlier this week when Vice President Sara Duterte attended the Pro Apollo Kibuloy Prayer Rally in Manila. At the very least, Karim said that Duterte's participation in the rally was confusing since the event obviously had an anti-administration flavor to it. For proof, one only needed to look at the placards that the attendees were carrying. I believe what is more important here is for the Vice President to decipher. Kasi nga prayer rally. Siyempre, kasi nga pagdating, hindi naman naging prayer rally. Karim said in a press conference Thursday, March 14. Incidentally, Duterte is currently the acting president since President Marcos is still in Europe, trying his best to sell the Philippines to potential investors. And as the acting president, it will give confusion, not only to our people, but also to all agencies and even the international community. If you are the acting president and you are in an event and you are hitting the government, noted the lady lawmaker. Duterte is also part of Marcus' cabinet, being the Department of Education secretary. So I think lahat iyan boils down to her opinion. It's best for her to look into this matter. At baka nga iba ang purpose niya while she was there. Gering said, the vice president's father, former president Rodrigo Duterte, also attended the prayer rally last March 12. He heard tirades at President Marcos while he was there. Kibuloy, the self-proclaimed appointed son of God, is the leader of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ Church. He had earlier accused the Marcus administration of plotting to abduct or assassinate him in collusion with the United States government. Kibuloy, the elder Duterte's spiritual advisor, is facing various charges in the U.S. in relation to his trafficking scheme. He is wanted by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At sa naging isyong ito, ano ang iyong naging reaksyon? Maging malaya magbigay ng kanilang personal opinion sa comment section. Anyways, for more Chikabe updates, don't forget to like and subscribe!